Okay, uh, in this part, uh, we're going to be looking at how to upload your league reports and and uh, take care of that part. Uh, but first, I want to remind you to make sure you're watching this in high definition. Make sure you can see everything very clearly. And also, remember, this set of tutorials uh, is only for online leagues hosted by All Sim Baseball. Again, if you don't have hosting with us. Uh, there is another set of videos uh, that are available if you search the forums on the OTP developments website. Okay, all right, let's get started. Now, if you remember from the first video, we had a set of three files here that the game generated. Uh, HD access, uh, the database config, and the index PHP. So we, we want to go ahead and upload those to the to the server. So I'm going to minimize the game for now, and we're going to keep this. I want to start up FileZilla. If you haven't installed FileZilla already, uh, there's a link for you to download it in the email titled Your Site is Ready. So we're going to go ahead and put in our information here, uh, which we get from the text file, my website info text. Okay. Okay, we want to use our main FTP information here because we want to look at the whole set of files. So down here we see main FTP account. I'm going to copy and paste. And copy the username. The username in this case is different from that that we were using in the game because this is your main FTP information. Control C, copy the password, paste the password, and connect. Okay, as you can see here on the right side, a bunch of files just showed up. These are the files that reside on the server. Okay, on the left side are the files that reside on your computer. Okay, uh, but uh, we can drag and drop from anywhere from this side to this side, but we can also drag and drop from here from Explorer directly into FileZilla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make this window just a little bit smaller so we can keep everything in this within the video here. Okay, um, but we want to go in here on this side, public HTML. Now, if your hosting uh, account is not an upper deck or a field level account, you are not going to have a public HTML folder. You're going to have directly when you connect you're going to have just these these folders right here that you see okay it's a bunch of folders and files you really don't want to touch any of them except for this one game so double click that and open it <clears throat> okay we have we have a set of four folders here we want the lg reports folder the reports folder we're going to be working with this one the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get rid of that index html folder uh, file, excuse me. We're going to delete that. Okay, that's gone. Now, once that's gone, we're going to upload these three files that the game generated for us. Okay, when it finishes uploading, you'll see them there. Okay, so we're going to minimize this for just a moment, and we're going to we're going to close this. We're done with that. And let's go back to OOTP. Now we got those those things on on the server we're ready to upload the reports let's go to commissioner home you see a bunch of things here let's go ahead and uh, take care of a few things right now uh, you can leave this one checked I'm not going to do it because it's going to save me some time right now this one here make sure that's unchecked you don't need that uh, unless you're part of the official online leagues and uh, 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 right now, I'm only going to be showing how to do things uh, with regular with a regular website. So you want to uncheck that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. We want this one unchecked. We we never need that because we're gonna get all our exports off the off the internet. Uh, I'm going to break that and take that one off. Also, uh, for now, I'm gonna take off everything except for the reports. We'll come back and reset this up later. But uh, yeah, these first these first five or four here we don't need. This one save league files, that one by default we can't mess with that. So right now we're going to be dealing with just the reports. So let's go to the report settings. Click report settings. 
and uh, we want to make sure this says upload reports to my SQL database and that's that's all set up we also look here and we see a bunch of check marks now I'm gonna warn you right now that's gonna cause you a lot of headaches if you have all that so what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, I'm going to uncheck all the ones that you're not going to need okay no matter how many levels of minor leagues yours should look exactly like this no history no oh excuse me you're gonna you're probably gonna want the players okay box scores game logs news and scores for minor leagues are really not that important leave them for major leagues your league members if they really want to look at the scores and news in the minor leagues they can they can look at that stuff inside the game themselves okay but for for the purposes of getting the necessary reports this is what it should look like you'll have a bunch of check marks here a bunch here and then just these across you don't want history on any level you run this the history only when your league turns over to January uh, in, during the off season, okay, then you'll you'll run the history, but you won't run anything else at the same time. So you're going to go and uncheck all of these other ones when you do that, okay? But uh, your standard upload is going to look something like this, okay? Now uh, down here it says uh, copy and upload new and change images. Well, we need we need our images up there, but quite frankly, if you keep if you try to upload your images and a bunch of reports at the same time. It's going to take a long, 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 long time, and sometimes OOTP just forgets what it's doing and uh, runs into errors and problems because it just can't handle that much. Okay, so we're going to run these separately. Uh, so on a on a day to day basis, when you're running your reports, you're only going to need these. You don't need your images. Uh, but uh, once you do have your images up there, you, you can go ahead and leave this checked. But if you ever run into any problems where the reports aren't uploading or you're not getting the unpacks uh, page to show up on the web browser, any problems at all, you know where to, where to look first. Come back here, uncheck this, and try it again. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I just want I just want to hurry up and get a, a set of of things online as soon as possible okay so I'm just gonna run just the teams pages right now I can come back at any time and add more and uh, I can I'll take this one off and I can add more and it's just gonna it, it'll compile them all uh, together uh, on the site so we don't really have to worry about uh, about uh, about it right now so for, for now just one major league baseball and we're not even gonna put any any images yet okay so I'm gonna save the settings I'm going to go back to this page and I'm going to hit, now that we got nothing here uh, checked except for create and upload HTML reports, I'm going to hit execute. The game is going to start uh, generating all the reports and then it's going to archive them into a, into a tar GZ type of a compression and it's going to upload that compressed file and then it's going to open your web browser to a page that unpacks them on the, on the site and uh, inserts all of your reports into the database. Now, sometimes there are problems with Macs where it doesn't work that way, and uh, it, or sometimes it won't open your browser at all. If, it depends on what browser you you're, you might be using because. Uh, uh, the game might not know what your default default browser uh, is, so it might not open anything. In any case, you can there, there's an easy workaround, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now it's been uploaded. The unpack reports.php loaded, and uh, and it says there are no errors. Everything's fine. Success. Okay. Now, as I was saying before, uh, if if this page doesn't open automatically, you can open open it by yourself. What you need here is this part here. So your 
your website slash and then just paste that in game slash LG reports slash unpack reports and you just hit enter and it unpacks them then you want to delete the archive and the, the unpack script the reports files and then open the league reports now what you see is isn't so beautiful right now because uh, there's no images as as I told you before so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and fix that up so I'm going to close this for now and we'll be right back okay so we're gonna go back to the report settings now we got the teams up I'm gonna uncheck that this time we're gonna run only the images okay so we'll save the settings hit execute and uh, this time it's just going to compile a few few pages of reports maybe at, at most but then it's just going to uh, pile up all the league logos and uh, probably uh, the player images as well so it, it could take some time okay in our case it was pretty quick in your case, it's going to take a long time probably because you'll probably have a lot more uh, teams, players, and uh, and uh, levels of minor leagues. But in this case, we're doing everything pretty quick. Okay, so we'll delete file archive just like we did before. Open the league reports. Now we see it like this. Okay, go to league home. Uh, okay, there's no news yet because we didn't upload any news. So we can go back and upload some news now if we want. Okay. Thing is, you can do this over and over and over again. Report settings. Uh, let's uh, upload the players uh, and some news and some scores. Now, there aren't any scores right now, but let's go back and just leave it. This is the way you would want to have it at all times. But uh, anyway, let's. Uh, Let's upload those and we're going to take off the images because the images are already on the site. Save the settings and we hit execute and you'll get more more news or you'll get more articles or whatever you've added. You can just keep adding and adding. The thing is if you ever run into any problems, the most likely candidate for the cause is having way too many things checked around here probably plus plus your images and maybe even this and maybe even too many pages of box scores and game logs and and, and so on so you want to keep everything within a reasonable size if you're if you're running a two week sim yeah my league does so 15 days but we'll keep these unchecked uh, we uh, we keep just the necessities And oh, I'm sorry. We don't need the history right now. Remember, history is just the very end of the at the very end of the league's uh, season, uh, right around January when you turn over to January in the off season. So you run that once once a year, and you might run the new and change images also once a year, probably right around after your amateur draft. Okay, that uploads uh, new new pictures of players in their new uniforms. Uh, and so on. So well, that's it. That's for uploading the league reports. Uh, if you have any problems with that, just uh, it, with this at any time, uh, remember to check, make sure what you've got, how many check marks you've got going here. Uh, other than that, that's it. It's pretty easy, simple, straightforward. The next video, we're going to be looking at how to upload your league file and getting things uh, ready for your new league members. Okay? We'll see you then.